For full source code, visit yksoftware.blogspot.com iPhone Tutorial Database Programming Part 1 In this tutorial, we'll create a simple program consists of database programming with the opening screen with a button, a table with names extracted from a database. When our database consists of three columns, one for name, one for primary key, and one for ID. When you click a name, another window opens with a name and an ID. Okay, let's begin. Open your browser and go to yksoftware.blogspot.com. In here we will need to download a few files. The first file we'll download would be what we call FM database, which is an SQLite wrapper to make it easy for us to interact with database. The second called student7.sqlite, which is a database uh, I created using uh, Firefox and SQLite Manager. Uh, you can easily type in Google uh, Firefox SQLite Manager and uh, it's easy it's pretty easy to create a database so uh, you can we're not gonna cover this in this tutorial after you finish downloading those files copy them to the desktop open the zip file of the FM database and I'll move this the all the files in the zip file to the to our desktop it should be six files okay now Launch Xcode, choose File, New Project, choose Navigation Based Application, name our program Database, Database 1. Click Save. We're going to create a new group, so right click Classes, choose Add New Group, call it Database. We're going to copy the FM Database files to this group. So mark them and drag them and copy them to the database group we just created click on add go to resources and copy the students SQLite database to the resource group right click framework choose add choose existing framework scroll down to a framework called libsqlite.3.0.daylib Click on Add. The database should be under Classes. Make sure it's under Classes. Right click Classes, choose Add, choose New File. Choose UI View Control Subclass with NIB for User Interface. Choose Next. Type OpenWin view controller choose finish move the open win view controller dot nib to the resources group click the header file and write the following code This code will create a function for a button click that will later on will connect to a button. So a function that uh, for a button click will have to return an IB action and get an ID sender. Mark that, copy and go to the implementation, paste it under the implementation. In here we're going to implement this function, but before we do, add an import statement for root view controller go back to the implementation of the function and write the following code our first line we cre will create a root view controller object and we'll initiate it based on a nib
the next line of code in this function will push the view controller we just created to the navigation control view stacks. So use the push view controller and the first parameter will be view controller and animated yes. After that we can release the view controller object so type view controller release. We finished with the function, now we need to connect it to a button. So double click openwindviewcontrol.nib to launch interface builder. When it will open, click on the library and search for a button. Drag the button to the view. You can change the name of the button. I will choose to, know, to name it list names, you can name it whatever you want. Go, go to the events of this button, drag from touch up inside to the files owner, which is of uh, type open when view controller, and in here choose the function you just created. After that you can save and quit this window. Now double click the main window dot nib. Under navigation control, under root, change the root view controller. In the classes, class identity, change it to open when view controller and change the nib name to be open win view controller change the, change the title to whatever whatever you want after that you can save and quit this window as well okay now right click classes choose add new file choose objective c class subclass of ns object click next name it single student this will be an object that represents a row in the database, meaning if a row consists of three columns, uh, two integers and one string, one integer for primary key, one for uh, ID, and a string for name, our object will also consist of two integer and one string. So write in the dot .h file of single student, define three fields. One is of type int and called int primary key. The second is of type int and uh, named int id which will hold the, the id and the third is of type ns string which, uh, which will hold the name. Now add a properties to those three uh, fields. Make sure that the int fields uh, you, you in the property you type you type a sign. Here you tap assign not retain. And for the string you can instead of assign you put retain. We're going to add a constructor to this object. The constructor goal is to construct this object with the appropriate uh, fields initiated. So we're going to call it init with data and it will receive three parameters. One for a primary key, the other is for an ID, and the, se and the third one is for a name. And what this constructor will do, it will put the parameters inside our three fields of the object. Notice that a constructor will always return an ID. Copy the, the declaration and go to the implementation and paste it. And write the following code. Before we do, add a synthesize for the three fields we just added. Synthesize are used for the default getter and setter for the object.
after that return self pretty much finished with the object okay for now we finished with this tutorial please continue to part 2 of this tutorial